In the first webcast of this lesson, we identified an important difficulty with peptide sequencing. To sequence from N to C, we somehow must distinguish and cleave the N-terminal amide from all other amides in the peptide. The key to overcoming this difficulty is to use the reactivity of the terminal amino group to facilitate bond breaking only at the N-terminus of the peptide. In this webcast, we'll introduce the reactivity of the N-terminus and learn how to characterize the N-terminal amino acid using this reactivity. Eventually, we'll see that peptide sequencing amounts to iterative or repetitive identification of the N-terminal residue. Here we see a figure that describes the general process of identifying the N-terminus of a polypeptide. First, we react the amino group with a tagging molecule. The tag has a unique spectroscopic signal that allows us to distinguish the tagged amino acid from the others after peptide bond cleavage. We then subject the peptide to hydrolysis conditions, which produce a soup of amino acids, only one of which, the N-terminal residue, will appear tagged. To isolate the tagged amino acid, we use chromatography. Finally, spectroscopic analysis of the separated amino acids reveals which one possesses the tagging group. In practice, the mechanisms of reactions that load the tag onto the N-terminus typically involve the amino group as a nucleophile. One of the earliest tagging reagents was 2,4-dinitrofluorobenzene, also known as Sanger's reagent. This compound contains an electron-poor aromatic ring that is susceptible to nucleophilic aromatic substitution by the N-terminus's amino group. Nucleophilic attack by the amine on the fluorine-bearing carbon is followed by beta elimination of the fluoride anion. Finally, proton transfer gives the neutral product in which the aromatic ring has been loaded onto the terminal amino group. Sanger's reagent is a unique shade of yellow, so the tagged amino acid can be distinguished from the others by visible spectroscopy methods. Dancyl chloride is a second, more recently developed N-terminus tagging reagent. Like Sanger's reagent, dancyl chloride is a good electrophile and is able to react with the nucleophilic amino termini of peptides. The sulfonyl chloride functional group, which you can see here, is subject to the same addition elimination mechanism as we saw for Sanger's reagent. Nucleophilic addition of the amino group to the sulfur oxygen double bond, followed by beta elimination and proton transfer, gives the sulfonamide functionality you see here. Although dancyl chloride is not UV active, the sulfonamide formed upon tagging is a highly sensitive chromophore that can be used to distinguish the tagged amino acid from others in the peptide. Interestingly, dancyl chloride was pioneered as a peptide tag in the early 1950s by Gregorio Weber, a professor at the University of Illinois. In the next webcast, we'll learn how to couple the ideas behind identification of the N-terminus with selective cleavage of the N-terminal peptide bond. By repetitive cleavage and characterization, we can determine the identity of each amino acid in a peptide sequence from the N to the C terminus.